Hey, welcome back to Mrs. Hewitt's Spelling at Home. So we've got another root word for you today for your Key Stage 2 session. This one has got loads and loads of words and I don't actually think that um, the grid that I've done for you today actually has all of the possible words, um, but there are lots and lots you can make and there are a couple of things that I can talk to you about for spelling. So um, the root that we're doing today is this one. Viz, and that is um, means to see from the Latin videre. Um, so lots of things that have viz in them are relating to seeing. So I'm going to show you the grid. Um, you'll see there's loads of endings. OK, so you're going to um, probably find that you're making loads and loads of words. And that is brilliant. Um, it's just worth remembering um, the meanings of the prefixes and suffixes and what they do to the words where they make them into an adjective or a noun. Um, and if the prefixes have certain meanings as well, they can give you a clue. You can see here I've popped the E on um, because if you are ending here, um, to make a verb, something like advise, you do need that E on there, OK? So I've just popped that E on there for you. So I'm going to hold the morphine frame right up to the screen for you and you can pause the video and then you can write your word sums while it is paused, OK? OK, so let's have a look at some of the words that you could have done. So straight away, you can see that we've got kind of three main um, suffixes that we're popping on there and we've got visual... Um, and then other words that relate to visual. So we've got visualize, um, visualization, visualizing. OK, so that's kind of one pathway is to go down the visual. And remember, if we're talking about visual, we are talking about things you can see. OK, then we've also got visit and other things, um, other words that come from visit. So visits, visited, visitors. Um, so visit. If you think actually, if you're going to visit somebody or um, somebody is a visitor, they are coming to see you. So that's where that comes from. And then this one here, vision, um, again, is um, relating to seeing. OK, so the vision um, is the noun. And then we have things like visually, um, visions, visionary. And also we have television and supervision and revision and other things that um, relate to that. So I'm going to show you the word sums that I made here. Um, and you can see there's a whole page um, and there's loads, loads more than that as well. So you can see at the top there, I've got visualize and that is the verb um, to imagine something in your head. So again, kind of seeing it, we visualize it. Um, we've got visited. So I talked about visit going to see somebody. We've got visitors. Um, so yes, that's the same as it's somebody who does. So we've got that OR suffix there relating to a person. Advise. So add is that prefix meaning to. Um, or towards. So actually, um, that is advising somebody as giving, you know, giving them advice, helping them see something a bit more clearly. Um, television. Um, that's that one there. Revision. Remember, re meaning back or again. Um, so revision and revisit kind of mean the same thing there. I think I put revisit further down um, just here. Oh, yeah, revision and revisit. And we have our revisits at school where we go back over things we've done before. So we're literally seeing it again. Um, we have got invisible. So remember, we've got so we've got visible being able to see something. Then we've got invisible in meaning not. So if it's not visible, um, then you can't see it. Um, this one, I've put the orange in there because we do change some letters. So we've got visibility um, and you can have invisibility as well. But we did have visible. You can just see that to change it into the ability. We have had to change this E or drop this E. And also add this I in here because saying vis visibility doesn't really work. So if you didn't if you didn't have this extra I in here, um, it's all to do with the ease of pronunciation. So sometimes letters do get added into words when suffixes get added, and that's all to do with just making it easier to say it. Um, we've got a visor. Visor is the thing that comes over your face, like a protective visor, um, and that's to help you see. Um, and we have improvise at the end which basically means you're kind of making something on up on the spot okay so we've got improvise down there now um there are loads loads more words i'm also very aware that i haven't put on my suffixes here the s and the ed and the ings for something like advising or revising um, just because I wanted to make sure that we built those longer words today and thinking about things like the shun, something like television. Um, it sounds like that shun. Now, again, it said this lots of times with the um, where is television here? So um, 
because it's the root has an S, that's why the shun is with an S, not a T. OK, so other words would have shun with a T-I-O-N. Television has a shun with an S-I-O-N because the root word is viz, which has an S. So the, the actual suffix is the I-O-N. It's not the T-I-O-N or the S-I-O-N. OK, that the T or the S is attached to the pre, uh, preceding morpheme. So that's why when you're not sure, oh, is, it's a shun, but I'm not sure if it's a T or an S, think, what's my root word? What does it end in? Because that will tell you. OK, that's a really good clue. Um, so hopefully you, um, you've got loads and loads of words there. I know there um, is really, really difficult. There's other things, um, things like with vist, sometimes you have a vista as well. Um, that also relates to seeing and like a kind of a view. Um, but vis definitely relates to see and you, you know, your vision comes from, comes from that route. So well done with that. Um, and, um, yeah, so you need to now pick a couple of those words, practice writing them, and then, um, pop a couple into some sentences. So you've practiced your sentence writing as well, and then you're done for the day. Um, you're going to do some other work and I will see you back here tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Bye.